my name is Asa, nice to meet you and welcome back to my channel if you already know me. It's been a long time since I made the last video because I got sick and of course it is. It has to be this C word which I'm not going to mention here but it wasn't too bad. I spent five days suffering and then I was fine. The worst part, of course, was that I gave it to all my family members and uh, I feel really guilty, but everybody's feeling better now, so I guess, I guess that's good. Um, so, today's video is going to be about new sketchbook. We all know how the first impression is the most important impression, so today we are going to paint... Ah, oh, by the way, this is the new guy. Um, today we are going to make first spread in this new sketchbook. I will show you my idea and I honestly, I am this person who likes beautiful sketchbooks, right? All this no pressure ugly sketchbook is not for me just because um, <clears throat> I think every time I make something beautiful it kind of motivates me or inspires me to do more so it it works for me I don't judge people who use sketchbooks to you know make ugly doodles make some creative search it also works but not for me so I like all this nice and polished sketchbooks if you know what I mean and this is what I'm going to do I'm going to make beautiful, hopefully beautiful, first spread and I have some design ideas in my head and of course I want to share it with you guys and as always I want to invite you to join me, grab your own art supplies and let's get started! This is all the information about the sketchbook if you are interested. You can stop the video here and take a screenshot for the future use. In the back it has nice plastic envelope. It is really good quality and I already put my tiny paintings there. The front cover has this small element for signing your sketchbook. I want to paint flowers on the first page and glue a piece of watercolor paper with the date when I started the sketchbook. So I mark the space where I'm going to place the paper and start sketching my flowers. I'm not making a very detailed sketch because flowers are not too hard for me to paint. I chose flowers on purpose because it is really hard to make mistake while painting them and since it is the first page of my sketchbook it has to be perfect. Speaking of perfect sketchbooks, if you are like me and watch a lot of videos of different artists you probably noticed this trend about no pressure sketchbooks. As much as I love this idea, it doesn't really work for me. First, I'm a perfectionist. Ugly paintings in my sketchbooks simply make me unhappy and I won't chill until I make it look good or paint something good on top of it. Second, I don't treat my sketchbooks as the place where I just practice and randomly doodle. I almost never do that. Yes, okay, occasionally before starting big painting I make sketches to figure out composition and colors, but most of the time it is so, sort of an art book for me or personal diary. I express my feelings in paintings and it works as therapy for me. So I just think perfect formula for the sketchbook simply doesn't exist. Don't listen to people who tell you what sketchbook should look like. Try all the different styles and techniques and you will find what works for you the best. For me, it is beautiful neat sketchbooks with watercolor paper in them. It's just perfect. I'm still not sure about the size. I think my next sketchbook is going to be bigger just because I like painting big portraits, but at the same time, it is such a pain to take big sketchbooks with you everywhere, especially for the person like me who likes small purses. 
So far, I'm very happy with the sketchbook. The paper is just what I needed. As you can see, I already put a lot of paints and water on it, and it doesn't bend or wave. My painting process is very simple. I will use my favorite technique, which is layers. I already put first layer of green, which is going to be my background. And now I'm painting white flowers. I water my gouache a lot and try to make the first layer thin. At this point, I just try colors and see if they work with each other. If I decide to change the color, it will be easier to paint over it. I chose this idea for the first page mainly because I love red and green color combination. And the white flowers are creating a perfect balance with bright colors. I decided to let red flower go on the other page a little bit. I think it looks interesting and kind of creative. It might look like abstract watercolor painting right now, but believe me, I am a huge gouache fan and I'm going to put as many layers as possible. That's why I chose super thick paper for my sketchbooks. For a long time, I didn't know about watercolor paper and was buying regular sketchbooks with 100, 100 gram paper. And almost all the time I was disappointed until I discovered 300 gram paper. Not gonna lie, as an artist, I still feel ashamed for not doing some research, but it's okay, I know now, so if you think watercolor or gouache don't work for you, but you like them, try different paper. My only complaint about this paper, it is not good for colored pencils. I love to draw portrait, portraits with colored pencils, like quick sketches and this paper is too textured for pencils. I mean, if you really want, you can absolutely draw something on this paper and it might look fine, but in my personal experience, colored pencils look better on the smooth paper. Forgot to mention, I'm using Mia gouache for this painting. My favorite medium at the moment. I'm thinking about buying gouache in little tubes. Supposedly, they stay moist longer and I think they are more professional paints, but it will be in the distant future for now. I still have a huge box of Mia gouache that lasts for a long time even though I paint a lot. We are halfway through our painting and as you can see I'm already working on the second layer. Second layer I use mostly for the shadows. It is the first step in my painting that allows me to add the dimension to my objects. Basically, one shadow is already enough to turn flat image into 3D object. Since I prefer more realistic paintings, just one shadow is not enough for me and I will add more later. Right now the background looks a bit flat, it needs more deep shadows and for this purpose I'm going to use dark blue. Deep shadows are challenging to paint. A lot of beginner artists make the same mistake. They use black for the shadows. Black is a very strong color. And when you mix black with other colors, it creates dirty colors. Also, black shadows are not very common. You might see black shadow if the object is very close to the surface and we might see somewhat black shadow. But most of the time, the color of the shadow depends on the source of light and the color of the object. The combination of those two colors almost never give you black as the result. Usually shadows have cold bluish undertone because of the color of our atmosphere. If you need to darken your blue, try add a little bit of red. It will make your blue darker but not dirtier. Anyways. We are very close to the end of the painting. Right now I'm adding final details and I know it looks pretty unfinished now, but wait till the end. Those details are perfect final touch and they will make this painting look complete. 
I wish I could post this video earlier, but as I mentioned before, one very popular disease got me and I felt really bad. Even painting was impossible and of course as a result I was art blocked. Doesn't happen very often to me. I usually don't struggle with the lack of inspiration, but last week hit me really hard. I even had to stop all my work projects and now I'm painting all day and all night so I can deliver my work on time and guess what? I have absolutely no time for my personal art. Really sad but such is life. At least with this busy schedule I don't have time for art block. If you want to see the photo I used as an inspiration I will put the link in the description. And I will also put a link for the sketchbook if you are interested. They have the same quality sketchbooks and the same design but different sizes and shapes. I already made a plan to buy a bigger one after I'm done with this sketchbook. I know it's a bit early to plan new sketchbook but it is fun. Sketchbooks are fun. I love buying them. I'm adding white to my flowers to make them look a bit shiny and bright and I will switch to my tiny brush and add final details. Since, since it is my new sketchbook, it means that I have finished my previous sketchbook and I already filmed sketchbook tour. Last sketchbook is my first old gouache sketchbook and I'm not trying to brag but I think it turned out pretty nice. Definitely one of my favorite sketchbooks. And I can't wait to edit this sketchbook tour and post it. Well, I think we have finished with gouache part and I already love the result, but I can't resist using some pencil magic. Why stop here when I can make my painting a little bit better, am I right? Pencil doesn't change the painting too much, but it gives it nice little details that I love. Also thin pencil lines work like sharpened filter in Photoshop. And our final touch is little note with the text on it. Since I'm a proud owner of a big roll of craft paper, I decided to make two layers of paper and add craft paper under the white, under the white one to make it look like a little frame. Now we just need to glue two papers together and place them on our painting. My glue dried because I don't use it very often so I had to squeeze it really hard. I got this idea from people who do journaling. I don't do journaling myself because I don't have enough patience and to be honest my handwriting is not good enough for making beautiful pages. But I love watching how other people do it. As you can see I wrote started and finished and put today's date and I also added little flower on the bottom for additional razzle dazzle. Text in the left corner I decided to cover with one of my tiny paintings because it kills all the vintage vibe I'm going for. The process of creating those tiny paintings I have on my channel. Go take a look if you haven't seen it yet. And we're done. This is the first spread of my new sketchbook. Thank you for visiting our grand opening. I'm so happy with the result. Hopefully it's a good sign and other pages in my sketchbook will look as nice as this one. Well, we did it. Um, yeah, looks looks great. I really enjoyed the, the final result and I have to be honest, I already painted something in my sketchbook, so I'm filming it uh, a few days after I painted this first spread, so don't think I like to use just, you know, a magic of video making here. But yeah, uh, of course I will make a sketchbook tour of this sketchbook later when I finish it. You, I, I also have one more sketchbook tour incoming soon, I know you guys love sketchbook tours. I personally love them a lot and um, yeah thank you so much for watching this video I was happy to go back to YouTube and make more videos um, uh, I guess that's it um, 
As always, stay positive, stay creative, and I will see you in my next videos. Bye! Then you said, don't you be afraid of when your life's gonna end.